Hello everyone, welcome to my new channel where we focus on photorealistic texturing for the film industry. My name is Chen Chen and I have been texturing for film for the past six years. There are links down below if you want to check out some of the projects I worked on. I'm starting this YouTube channel to share everything I've learned so far working as a texture artist. There will be step-by-step -step process videos, but also I really want to focus on the thinking process of how to make a texture great. I feel like there are plenty of tutorials out there showing how to use the software, but not enough showing how to make assets look good. Personally, I'm more artistic than technical, and you will see that reflected on the type of videos I make. Another goal for this channel is to keep growing as a texture artist myself. I think by putting my methods out there, I will get feedback and learn quite a bit. Today we're talking about Substance and Mari, more specifically how to create a workflow where we use the best features of both programs to get a jump start on creating photorealistic textures. I will show you first why I use this workflow, then I will demonstrate the steps. Before we start, I need to show you the level of detail and quality maps we're aiming for. We will use the overall paint mask for my Buddha mask project as an example. For me, this type of quality is common in film projects. I would expect any mid-level to hero assets to have this amount of detail and different shades of gray. To achieve a mask like this for such an organic and irregular object, it does require a lot of hand painting and normally it is quite time consuming. Hopefully we will make this process a bit faster with this workflow I'm about to show you. We won't demonstrate the hand painting process in this video, but I will have future videos on that. If you're interested, please subscribe to this channel and click the notification bell. This is the final render of the project, and this is kind of quality we can expect from a mask like that. So why wouldn't we create a mask entirely in Mari? It just takes longer. Normally we will have to bake AO inside of Mari, then we will have to blend quite a few tileable maps on top until things start to look natural and non-uniform. This process can be fast and it also can be really slow, really depends on the kind of project you're working on. With the awesome utility map baking feature and procedure setup of Substance Painter, you get something very broken up and natural looking very fast. So why don't we just do everything Substance Painter? Initially, I did texture the entire mask in Substance, but as I pile on the layers, it was getting slow. I had to change my map preview to 1K to keep everything running smoothly. Afterwards, I exported my 4K maps and took a closer look in Photoshop. Here's a comparison between Substance map and the final Mari map. Because I had to view the maps on a lower resolution while I work, there are a lot of blurry areas that I did not like. Versus the final quality of the maps, there's a pretty big difference. I'm sure for a lot of real-time assets, this is completely acceptable, but if we want crisp and clear film quality, this is not enough. So the workflow I ended up with, which I use on pretty much all of my assets, is to bake supporting masks in Substance Painter, ideally with the help of high-resolution ZBrush sculpts but finish my final paint in Mari. This way we gain speed, but also making sure we make the details as crisp as possible. Okay, now let me demonstrate exactly what I did with my Buddha mask project. Go to File, New. I'm selecting a basic non-metallic shader because this mask is mostly painted wood. Make the texture size 4K, select my base mesh. Make sure you check the box, create the texture set per Udin tile if your asset has more than one Udin. Here's a new scene with this asset. Now we need to bake the mesh maps that will help us generate all kinds of procedural masks. I uncheck thickness to save some baking time. Gonna make the baking resolution 4K. Now for the high resolution mesh, I will import the decimated geo from ZBrush. So these utility maps will have all the fine details from the sculpt. I want to quickly show you what the high res sculpt looks like for this asset and what kind of bake you can expect. I sculpt the surface detail on the high res because I know it will bake very cool textures. So we can produce really interesting looking maps. Leave everything else at default and click bake texture sets. 
I will let this bake and we will come back when it's finished. Now we have the finished bake. As you can see, because we baked with high resolution mesh, we got all the sculpted detail. This is going to be extremely useful when we start to generate procedural maps. First thing I do is to create two fill layers. We're only focusing on baking one mask from Substance for now. I turn off all the other layer setting. I'm making sure that this fill layer only affect diffuse. I will make the bottom layer black and the top layer white. Then I will apply a black mask on the white layer. Right click on the mask and add generator. Left click on the generator and I will just select a basic mask builder. So now I will put the two layers I created into one folder and instance it across all UV tiles. This way any adjustments I do on this one UDIM will affect all UDIM. Now we have this pretty good basic mask on the entire object. If you take a closer look at this mask, even though it's super basic and we haven't done any adjustments or painting yet, it's already looking pretty complex. That's because we baked the utility maps with the high resolution mesh. If we used Mari, we won't be able to get to this level of complexity in such a short amount of time. I did a little adjustments to the mask. Mostly I just turned up the grunge level. Now I feel ready to use this as a starter mask in Mari. So we will go to File, Export Texture. Select my file path. I will select TIFF as my file format. In configuration, I will select Arno AI standard. And we are only exporting diffuse map. So same in export, choose Arno AI standard. That's it, click export. Now let's take a look at the maps in Mari. We add a merge node first. Then we add a paint node. I will set this paint node to transparent. Connect the node to merge. Right click on the paint node and click file and import. We navigate to where we exported the texture and then we click import all patches. Now we have our mask in Mari. I really like the quality of the mask and how you can see a lot of surface detail already. Here's a comparison between this and if I would have done it in Mari. As you can tell, it would take a lot more work and time before I get to that kind of complexity. Obviously, we still have quite a bit of work to do before we achieve the final map, but I hope you can see how the mask we baked in Substance Painter will get you there much faster. I hope this video is helpful for you in some way. I want to create a lot of valuable content that can help you with your 3D projects. If you have any concerns, questions, please leave a comment below. I will answer all of them. I will see you in the next one.